Port Harcourt, the capital of River State, the treasure base of Nigeria, the legendary Garden City, came alive on Sunday, the 19th of May 2018, as activities to mark the third anniversary of the administration of Governor Yesum Ezenwanwike began in earnest with a concert tagged A Night with a Governor. The Pleasure Park, the venue of the concert which adorned a very colorful ambience, was a beehive of people from different parts of River State and beyond. The young, the old, mingled in an atmosphere filled with music and good feeling. Of course, with the leading acts in the different genre of music, both gospel and contemporary music, who are in very hot demand across the world in attendance, it was Celebration Unlimited. The artist and parade at the night with Governor Yesum Wike concert include Fino, Flavor, Simi, Yemialade, and some gospel artists from River State and the Niger Delta region. The host with the most, Governor Yesum Wike CON, who has brought back the good times to Port Harcourt, the Garden City, was accompanied by the First Lady of River State, Honorable Justice Eberechi Suzet Yesum Wike. The Deputy Governor of River State, Dame Ipalebo Hari Banigo, the Secretary to the State Government, Sir Kenneth Kubani, and the huge legion of members of the River State Executive Council. Governor Ibrahim Dakwambo of Gumba State led an impressive number of friends of River State from diverse parts of the country, including seven and former members of the National Assembly. The musical concert tagged a night with Governor Yesum Wike which took place at the Pleasure Park, Port Harcourt, headlined the series of activities put together to celebrate three very productive years in office of Governor Yesum Wike, which is marked by groundbreaking development of the state in virtually all parts. The artists took turns to dish out very mesmerizing melodies of their different brands of music, which got everyone on their feet, and that went on to the very early hours of the morning. Let me go, 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 let me go
with the cool man center. I can't sing for me now. Me and the body of words. Shoot a gun and a gun. Me and the mama car. Let us up on the morning till I'm on. In his remark at the concert, the secretary to the River State Government, Sir Kenneth Kobani, who also doubled as the chairman of the Anniversary Central Planning Committee, thanked the people of River State for supporting the Wiki administration in the last three years and solicited their continued support. On behalf of His Excellency, the award-winning governor of River State, the man who has done what nobody believed was possible, I welcome you all to the kickoff, if I may say, the beginning of the third anniversary celebrations in honor of His Excellency. Now tonight is not necessarily a night for speech making. But let me say this, what His Excellency has achieved, many thought it was impossible. They once said that we wouldn't find money to do projects. Today, he's acknowledged by even the Vice President and everybody to be Mr. Projects. You have brought peace to River State, I repeat that. Because, but for what you've done, we won't be able to gather here so much love, so much fraternity, so much brotherliness. This is how it's supposed to be. Let me say this, Your Excellency, do not, and not, do not allow anybody, may Almighty God, to wow. inside you, to know the things that you do. Wow. In his own remarks, Governor Yusuf Mwike C.O.N. promised the people of River State that going forward, the entertainment sector will continue to be given a pride of place so that talents from River State can be encouraged while the old ones will be given continued contribution to showcase their talents. Governor Yesum Wiki gave an undertaking that that kind of carnival will be held once in a year. Governor Wiki also used the auspicious occasion to intimate River State people with other plans of his administration to take River State to a greater level on all fronts. I want to commend all the artists that came here tonight and the good comedians. 
you've done very, very well. It has also given me the opportunity to know most of you, particularly the artists that are based in Port Harcourt. I got a lot of phone calls, and I want to say, I want to say that it is our duty to promote you. It is our duty to make sure that you compete very well. But in doing that too, we will also encourage other Nigerians that are doing uh, well. And that is why you see the mixture. Those of you who are based here, and those of you who are coming from uh, outside. What is important is that all of you are Nigerians. And, we are make, and you are making Nigerians uh, proud. So I'm very happy with that, and I want to say, continue what you are doing. A special Thanksgiving service for the third anniversary of Governor Yesom Wiki's administration was held on Sunday, the 20th of May, 2018, at the Winners International Chapel at Kaduna Street, D-Line, Port Harcourt River State. The Executive Governor of River State in company of the First Lady, Honorable Justice Iberichi Suzette Wiki, the Deputy Governor, Dame Dr. Palebo Harry Banigo, the Secretary to the State Government, Sir Kenneth Kobani, the Legislative and Judiciary of the State, and friends of the State from across and beyond the country. The former First Lady, Dame Patience Jonathan, former Deputy Speaker of Nigeria's House of Reps, Honorable Austin Opar, as well as seven and past members of the National Assembly from different states of the country. The men and women of God from different denominations also graced the church service. The traditional institution in River State registered a very huge attendance, as well as ordinary people from the three senatorial zones of the state. The service, which was officiated by Pastor Isaac O. Folaji, who is the River State pastor and resident pastor of the Living Faith Church, Winners Chapel, Port Harcourt, featured congregational singing and a praise and worship session. Bible reading of the service was taken by Governor Yesum Wiki from Psalm chapter 92, verses 1 to 5. It is a good thing to give thanks unto the Lord and to sing praises unto the name, O Most High, to show forth the loving kindness in the morning and the faithfulness every night. They give your mouth space. Upon instruments on fell strings. And upon the factory, upon the heart with the sodium sound. For now, Lord, have made me glad through thy work. I will triumph in the works of my hands. O oh Lord, have great are thy works, and thy thoughts are very big. This is the reading this morning.
There were special prayers for the different arms of the River State Government and the people of the state as the state enters a new year of development. In the sermon delivered by Pastor Isaac O. Folaji, the River State resident pastor of the Living Faith Church, Winners Chapel, congratulated the governor of River State and the people of the state for the successful celebration of the third anniversary of the state under the watch of Governor Yesum Wike. He asked them to continue to support him for the good of River State. Say we are acknowledging the goodness of God, the mighty hand of God. That's not seen what we think of it right now. And we're calling the governor, my excellency, the wife, and everyone who has come to appreciate God for what God has done for the past three years. It is not man, it is who? God. Who are we appreciating? God. It is God. If it is good, it is what? God. If it is good, it is what? God. Is that every good gift and every perfect gift comes from where? God. It comes from God. And for every good thing God has done, He's waiting for acknowledgement. And that is why the government has seen it fit to appreciate God who has made great things to happen in the past three years. And as we celebrate him for these three years, greater things will happen the more. Yeah. Those who agree and say the Father, Amen. Yeah. The special Thanksgiving session featured hearty dancing with Governor Yesum Wike, his wife, the Deputy Governor, and other friends of the state celebrating with the state. <laughs> In the special remarks delivered by Governor Yesomizan Wanwike CON on the anniversary church service, he thanked the church and all the men and women of God for the continued prayers for him and the River State Government, which has led to the celebration of his third anniversary as Governor of the State, with a lot to thank God for. He asked them to continue to pray for the success of the state, particularly for peace to continue to reign in the state. So I thank all of you for giving us this talk today to say God the thank you. I want to sincerely, on behalf of the government of the state, thank our Father in law, Bishop Wendigo, and thank all of you who watch here for a particular prayer. Like I've said before, we'll do what we think is right. We'll do what will make our people to be happy. We're not going to do anything to satisfy few people outside. We are going to do something to satisfy the majority of our people. Thank you and God bless you. The dedication and thanks given service to commemorate the third anniversary of the administration of Governor Yesum Wiki of River State ended on a dancing note. In continuation of the third anniversary celebration of the Wiki administration in River State, a public lecture with a theme, Democracy in Nigeria, Still Many Rivers to Cross was held at the Dr. Obiwale International Center, Port Harcourt River State. The venue of the lecture brimmed and shimmered with very happy looking faces of River State people, men and women from all parts of the state who had come to support Governor Yesum Wike as he celebrates three years of very tough and challenging period, but full of achievements on all fronts. The chairman of the occasion was Professor Benoit Beze, SEN, CON, a highly respected constitutional lawyer, while the lecture was delivered by His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Matthew Hazan Kuka, the Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Sokoto. The host with the most, Governor Yesum Wike, was joined by his wife, the Deputy Governor, the Secretary to the State Government, and the rich retinue of River State people from the traditional institution the political class, the corporate sector, and other spheres of life. In the opening remarks of the chairman of the public lecture, Professor Ben Wabese, he congratulated Governor Yesum Wike for the giant strides he has made in governance in the last three years, which he premised on the governor's resolute courage and dogged determination against all odds. 
Professor Ben Wabeze also made a strong push for restructuring of the country to ensure fairness and equity among all Nigerians, no matter where they come from. Come the weekend, we are charging you as leader of this generation of young people with the energy of youth which you have demonstrated in your leadership of River State. <clears throat> to take up the mantle, it won't be 2019 because the zoning arrangement is in that, or it's going up not, but you start now getting ready, preparing yourself <clears throat> that is not the leadership of River State alone. We want you to help us to save democracy in Nigeria. In the public lecture with a the theme, Democracy in Nigeria, still many rivers to cross. The guest lecturer, His Grace, Most Reverend Dr. Matthew Hassan Kuka, the Catholic Bishop of the Diocese of Sokoto, also first congratulated Governor Yesam Wiki for the success of three years in the saddle and prayed that he finishes well. Dr. Matthew Hassan Kuka charged politicians at all levels of governance to be more focused on the delivery of the dividends of democracy to the ordinary people of the country. The consequences of the lack of a political culture in Nigeria. Now, part of our problem is that we've not been able to develop a political culture. Because as you know, from 1960, right through till date, the politicians have hardly contested election on one political party. You can count the number of politicians in Nigeria. Those who have stayed with only one party. Almost every time we had elections, either we have new parties and we've, we've got new actors, or we've got new actors going from one platform to the other. The result, of course, is that this has consequences on our learning the processes of democracy. Because every institution has discipline. If, for example, even if you were a Christian, and today you went to the Anglican church, and you felt tired of the Anglican church, and you went to the Baptist church, and you got left the Baptist church, and you came to the Catholic church, and you left the Catholic church, and you went to a Pentecostal, there will be something that will happen to you. Evidently, it will affect the, kind of, the quality of moral decisions we are making. So the point I'm making is that there is need now for us, and I think the great thing about our democracy now, in its imperfection, with its imperfections, is that we must learn to stay the course. We must learn to stay the cause because parties cannot just be created as vehicles for us to capture power. Because if we don't have the discipline to remain the, you know, with the cause and to also be sufficiently critical of the party, of its organization, even within the system itself, then we will not be able to develop a political culture. And if we don't have a political culture, it will have an impact on the way our politics is played. Thank you very much, and I ask God to bless you and bless River State. Congratulations, Mr. Governor. God bless you. Thank you very much. The lecture ended with a question and answer session. In his own intervention, the birthday boy, Mr. Projects, His Excellency, Chief Barista Yesomiz and Wanwike, CON, aligned thoughts with the submission of the previous speakers, especially the urgent need for restructuring and an atmosphere of peace and tranquility in all nooks and crannies of Nigeria. Governor Wiki said that without a peaceful environment, it will be difficult for investors to embrace our economy. He congratulated River State people on the success of three years of his administration and asked them to keep supporting all the programs of the government. I have the mandate to make sure that that injustice should not be allowed and you see a clear indication that the government is starting a foundation for violence. 
What do we do? You are the guest lecturer and advise us. What do we do? So I think we should bring in here that having been patient, the will of the people should uh, prevail. First of all, first of all, the mandate of the people, the mandate of the people must be protected. Not mine. The mandate of the people must be protected. With the vote of thanks given, the curtain was finally drawn on the public lecture to commemorate the third anniversary celebration of the administration of Governor Yeso Mezenwanwike, CON. In the next edition of the BOS, we shall bring you details of the projects commissioned by the Governor Yeso Mwike, Mr. Projects, who was earlier today honored by the leadership newspapers for his great efforts in governance as the architect of modern river state. From the chairman and CEO of Biscon Communications, Prince Bessie Olatilo, his wife, Mrs. Folashadi Olatilo, the entire management of Biscon Communications, its hearty congratulations to Governor Yesum Wiki of River State on the success of his third anniversary celebration.